Hi everyone, this is Luna from Dragon Roger CS85 and welcome to my channel. So as promised, we are going to test the uh, passive drag that is currently available on the King's Treasury. Um, if you don't have this one yet and if by the end of the video you get interested with this one, um, you still have a chance to get it until um, November 30 by pulling on the current King's Treasury. Or if you're watching this in the future, uh, you can claim it on the exchange shop. So anyway, before we begin, I'd like to mention first that I'm not really good at explaining drag, so um, I will try to explain this one as detailed as I can, but if I ever miss anything, or if you have questions, or if there is anything that isn't clear to you, I'll just comment your question or your thoughts on um, the comment section. Okay, so first off, the secret corner is on this slot, the head, and of course, as you guys know, it's a passive drag. Um, that means you don't need to activate it as your main drag for it to take effect. So passive drags will automatically be activated or yeah, be equipped once you unlock them. So for the drag, as it says here, if your character won't take any damage um, within 5 seconds during battle, your AP rate and your crit damage will increase by 5% for 10 seconds seconds so yeah it's actually quite op and if i'm going to co uh, compare this one to the past king's treasury uh drax um i think this is the best one so far so yeah we are going to um test that in pvp and on pve later on uh, but for now uh let's just check the drag animation and the activation so whenever it gets activated this red effect will appear above your head uh, which is actually quite intimidating since it looks like a red drag but yeah it's not really so anyway that's how the activation looks like as for the buff it looks like um this okay so now let's try it on pve and we're just gonna test that here on the training center um since uh you know we're not really taking any damage here so the one that we're uh, testing here actually is if it can be continuously um activated and yes as you can see since i'm not receiving any damage the drag is just continuously getting activated but of course that's only because i'm on training center that won't be um normal i mean that won't happen normally during pve or pvp fights so anyway for the pvp uh, the class that we're going to use is assassin since um, it has a lot of skills that can make you immune to damage for um, certain periods of time so i asked my friend to just stand there and do some basic attacks so you guys can see um, the activation clearly Anyway, as I'm showing this one to you guys, I just want to share my thoughts. Um, so this track, I think, is um, ideal, or I mean it works best for those who use ranged classes and um, classes with skills that can make you immune to damage as opposed to players who prefer close combat classes. Because, of course, for it to get activated, you need to um, really avoid taking damage for 5 seconds, which is more difficult, of course, if you're using BM or fighter so yeah it depends on your playstyle on how you're going to maximize the effect of this drag but yeah i think it is op since you know it can uh continuously get activated and uh, once the buff is gone you can activate it again and again if you can avoid taking damage for five seconds so yeah i think everything depends on how you can maximize the drag to its um full uh potential so yeah uh, I think that's everything that I need to explain. Um, again, if I missed anything, if there is something that I wasn't able to um, share on this video, just comment them down below so that I can um, try to answer them. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching and um, have a great day.